Hi guys, thanks for checking in today, and we are on Volume 9 of the Battle of the Foundations. Today we are trying out the La Prairie Cellular Treatment Foundation, so if you want to see my thoughts on that, then just keep watching. Alright, before we get started today, there's a couple things about using a powder foundation that are a little bit different than using a liquid. So I want to give you a couple of hints about this. Uh, for starters, if you have any peach fuzz on your face, I strongly recommend that you do a little bit of shaving. So if you do not already do that, I recommend that you get one of these blades and just do a little bit of shaving to clean that up. The reason being is the powder foundation will kind of pick that up and highlight it is the best way I can put it. Um, it just kind of sticks to the hair and makes them lift up and they become a lot more noticeable. So I buy these Tinkle brands off of Amazon. They're really inexpensive and I've tried numerous different brands. These are by far my favorites. They do just an excellent job and I've actually gone over my face after I've used other brands with these and I am amazed at how much more of the peach fuzz that these can get. So I will leave a link down below in the description box and where you can buy these. So love, love, love these. Now the other thing that you want to keep in mind as well, because you never want to put a liquid on top of a powder, you want to get all your liquids out of the way first. So you'll want to do all of your concealers, your liquid highlighters, liquid blushes, uh, liquid bronzers, as well as any liquid contours that you're going to be doing. So those go on first and your foundation is going to go on last unless you have any other powders that you want to put on on top of that. Okay, so I have gone ahead today and I have done my priming as normal and I have done my color correcting under my eyes. But I have not done my concealer and because this is a liquid product, we want to get that out of the way. So I will be going in with my uh, Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the color Light. And I will be taking that under the eyes. Now you want to get this in every area that you would normally go ahead and conceal. I'm going to do a little bit down here because I have just a little bit of darkness. But if you normally go in and do any age spots or acne or anything like that, now's the time to go ahead and do that. If you highlight any areas, again, now is the time. And I'm going to go ahead and just take this up on my lid and use that as my eyelid primer. Now, if you'd like, you can go ahead and use the foundation um, to go ahead and do under your eyes. But um, I want to keep this kind of light under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my Cover Effects powder and just lightly dust that underneath my eyes. So I'm not going to dust it. I'm just going to use this same little makeup sponge and lightly tap that on underneath. Not baking or anything, I'm just going to tap that on very lightly. The foundation is a much thicker and heavier type of a powder. I don't want it to be that thick into my eyes. So I'm going to take this kind of in all the areas just very lightly that I just took that concealer. So let's take a look at this. Um, it came, see it smudges very easily too. It's one thing I don't care for. Um, it does come with a nice little sponge applicator in there and it does have a mirror in here. Believe it or not I have found this funny little sponge applicator to be the best way to go ahead and apply it. Um, something about this just is the best way to do it. So excuse mine being all dirty and icky, but that is just the best way. So I just simply take it inside and I'm going to zoom you in real quick so you can see how this applies and how well it just covers and gives just the flawless look to it. So just one second. 
All right, let's go right in here. So you can see I have a lot of redness. Um, I've got um, just some blotchiness and stuff. So I'm going to go right there. Now this is a little bit darker, but I ordered this online and it was hard for me to get a true color match. give you a hint that when you do order this, if you order it from a department store like Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom's or any store like that, you're going to spend $95. Google it online and once you figure out what your color is going to be, Google and look for that color. Depending on what you're getting, um, I was able to get this color off Jet.com for like $60 and some change. So, get it for a lot cheaper. And Jet.com is able to use Ebates and get the cash back on that too. So, if you haven't signed up for Ebates either, I have a link down below in my description box. You can sign up and you get... $10 bonus money after you spend your first $25, which this would be $25. And give me tons of money. I've made, I think, close to $500 now off of eBay, so I love using it. I especially love the fact now that when I use my web browser, I use their. Um, they call it but there's a add-on you can add so if you were go to say Nike or something to go shopping up in the right hand corner a little pop-up comes up saying hey Nike has a percentage off for Ebates do you want to open that and start earning cash back on the shopping trip shopping trip so you cannot accidentally forget to earn money off of that which is amazing Now, I tend to save this for special occasions because it is a more expensive brand. And trust me, I have been on the hunt for a dupe for this that is a lower cost, but really haven't had much success. I wish. It's just beautiful coverage. It's perfect to, oh, I just hit pan. Hmm. But it's one of those things that's also great just to throw in your purse because it's just compact and easy to just take with you. Um, again, I love the coverage of this. So since everything else I'm gonna do is uh, powder products, let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. All right, I have finished the rest of my makeup. And I have to say, this is by far one of my favorite foundations. I love how flawless it goes on. Um, it just gives such a beautiful, flawless finish. I just wish it was half the price. <laughs> I really do. It's just so gorgeous and it's so smooth and it just stays on so beautifully. I'm going to zoom you in and give you a close-up of this so you can see how beautifully the rest of the products went on my face. So sit tight, I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, so keep in mind that I did not have to apply any other powders or anything on top of this. So um, the rest of my products I put on were all powders for contour and bronzer and blush and highlight and all that. Um, but it just looks so beautiful and flawless and just feel so good. There's never a tacky feeling to anything because there's no liquids with this. It just is a gorgeous finish and it doesn't emphasize anything. My skin is very soft. It doesn't feel dry. It's not flaky. Um, any dry patches I have, it doesn't stick to anything. Um, just looks beautiful. If you have any special occasion um, photos that you're going to be in, anything like this, this is the foundation that you want to wear for that. So 
Let me zoom you back out because you just kind of in my bubble right now. All right, so anyway, if you can get your hands on this, and again, do your research, find it, Google it. Don't go to the department stores and spend $95 on this. I would never spend $95 on this. I kind of choked when I had to spend $60 on this, but I will definitely repurchase this when the time comes. Um, it's well worth it. The downfall to this is you only get half an ounce. You heard me. Half an ounce. Not a full ounce like you would in a liquid, but half an ounce. Um, but it's just so well worth it because it's just stunning. I don't even have another way to say it. It's just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. So, again, that's why I save it for very special occasions. Um, it's not something I would wear if you are out in humid conditions or where you would be sweating or anything like that because I do notice that um, it can kind of run. That's the best way I can put it. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't wear it in those conditions. You can go ahead and apply um, your makeup setting spray. I did. So I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And that really helps with those situations if you put a good layer of on as well. Sorry. Oh, it's on. So anyway, if you enjoyed this and you are enjoying the series, please give this the old thumbs up. Feel free to leave any comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And I think that wraps everything up. Thanks so much for watching and love you guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.